right. And here we go. Righto. Righto. Have you seen Orbis and Shaw? <laughs> no, I haven't seen it yet. You haven't? It's no. good. It's a movie. Okay. We got to watch the last hour and a half. We, why don't we throw it on I wrote after a, this? I did a whole, I wrote a whole movie while doing karate. <laughs> really? Yeah. You wrote it? I wrote the movie and I directed the movie. Nice, dude. A lot of people don't realize that. And you, when you're Jason Statham? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. That's awesome, Jason. A transporter. So didn't they know? have to? Then they start doing the Hobbs and Shaw movies because Vin Diesel and The Rock hate each other so much. I think so. There's too much sexual tension. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. you, and you know what? Vin Diesel can fuck off. Really? The Rock brings so much to that franchise. Mm. Vin Diesel is dead weight. Wow, <laughs> that's true. He got oh, in wow. at the beginning. Yeah. Dead weight. Yeah, he's the emotional center of the movies. Well, he's, I mean, the best entry in the series. He's only in it for one scene at the end. I'm talking about Tokyo Drift. That's mm-hmm. right. 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 Mm-hmm. Right. That's fair. But the Rock's not in that either. To be fair. Mm-hmm. Well, when they brought in the Rock, they really changed direction. It they became, did. It became more. It became less of a franchise about family, which is what and I cool loved. cars. And it became more of like a heist, like a sort yeah. of like Dirty Dozen, like high super action squad franchise. Which I like those films in... That's uh, that's why they did it, is to get guys like you to watch them. Right. Because right. the movies used to just be for Hispanic teenagers. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. And, uh, right. Guys who were fucking working on oh their civics. Oh my God, can you believe this? Like, they had the, the Honda, but also they had the, the 180 SX. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if you had like... Imagine having like... Imagine, but, uh, but imagine if you could like if you could have like both of those cars. Man. That would be fucking <laughs> like, But that's like they did that in the movie. Uh-huh. Like there's a guy who has like he's got the 180 SX, but he's also got, and you know they did the the SR they got the SR swap in that you know, mm-hmm. and then he's also got like, but he's also got like you know, but he's also got like a prelude. A prelude. Yeah, he's Preludes got like a pre- cool. like a pre- like a pre- pre- prelude. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and I, re- I remember a while ago. I think he said like uh, best type of guy to be, kind of guy whose girlfriend wears a Von Dutch hat and drops a bandana to kick off a street race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, awesome. that's 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 fucking. That's, that's got a bad bitch. guys who aspired to that. I've been that guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my girlfriend's busy tonight. She's hosting a race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with her. I've been they that guy before. They can't afford lights, so they need breasts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adam, you've been that guy. Yeah, but I didn't have a car, so you didn't have a car. No. What were you racing for? Shit, I wasn't racing for anything. Oh, your girlfriend was just the center of attention. Mm. Yeah, she was just slutting it up for the slutting it up for the guys. When I was a kid, I played cruising guys. USA. And at the end, there's a woman that comes out and she like shakes her tits. Yeah, and I was always intimidated by that. I was like, I'm never gonna be in a crowd of people and see tits. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, if you beat cruising USA on the hardest difficulty level, you can fuck her at the end. That's it's like awesome. it's like Custer's uh-huh. revenge. That's, that's what awesome. I that's what I did in my life. <laughs> life yeah. is kind of and then they, there's a there's white a guys. Level. White guys, you're kind of playing on easy mode, dude. You should do a bit about that. Yeah, I saw it on Tumblr. They they had this analogy for how white guy privilege is kind of like playing life on easy mode. Right? Wow, like a video game. Yeah, I never thought about life. As I a video never game. heard of that analogy. That's either. clever. That's good. Yeah. You know what I heard about cruising USA? If you unlock the super extra hard mode, there you can play as Al Pacino and suck guys off at every single rest stop <laughs> you stop at. <laughs> mm-hmm. You go that kind of true. You, cruising you do cruising USA. USA. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it breaks wow, out, it breaks out of the meatpacking district. Yeah. You can drive yeah, anywhere yeah, in the yeah. country. San Francisco. San Francisco. <laughs> San Francisco. I hope there's some come here. <laughs> knock, knock. I'm here to suck dick. <laughs> Hips of lips, honey. Huh. Hips of lips. Yeah. That movie is... Oh, gosh. That's a great, that's a great fucking flick. It's so good. I just saw a guy. Yeah. And he's got a great ass. <laughs> then I want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to stick my dick all the way up it. Who uh, <laughs> fucked Ooh, uh, me in my ass? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, just when Ooh. I th- just when I thought I was straight, they make me suck dick again. <laughs> yeah, they suck my dick again. <laughs> I get my dick sucked by a man again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Uh, say hello to my little ass dick. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's think of more. That gets hard when I see a man. Uh-huh. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Adam, you want one to do one? Uh, I was just thought of one, but I think Nick's already done it on the so show. So just try it. The inch by inch speech from... Well, what the, instead of saying it, give it your best shot. Uh, yeah, just do what you... Because I don't remember saying it. So. I mean, I I'm sure we've done this did. joke ex- exactly. Okay, no, before. I don't think... We, Al inch Pacino's by inch. I'm taking his cock into my <laughs> ass. There you go. See, yeah, did you need to fucking? You know, being outside of the city, I feel a lot more loose. A lot you more know? loose. Like I can dude. try out some bits. Try maybe. different stuff. Throw there's some no... pasta at a wall, see what sticks. Yeah. You know, there's no laws up here. It's just fucking speeding. We're in international down. waters. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. We were thinking about getting a yacht. I found one. Fifty. So we could fuck guys in international waters, and we wouldn't yeah. be gay. It's not gay. In it's not. Waters. Yeah, it's not gay. We yeah. found a fifty-five foot yacht, but also if you get pussy in international waters, so that doesn't count either. <laughs> so it's a double-edged sword. It is. <laughs> and then I can gamble on you know who's going to come first. That's right. And mm-hmm. it's just you know. No Let's laws. wait about think maybe about ten minutes maybe before we talk about stuff we can gamble on. Yeah, I think you might you might be right. <laughs> so give it 10 minutes and then Let me check my brain. <laughs> nope. Oh, never mind. Yeah, no. No more. There's not going to be any kind of gambling for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, okay. Gambling is It's canceled. Christmas today, isn't it? What's today, Nick? Today is December 23rd. Wow. Two, really? 2025. Wow. I was going to say though, I'm, I'm so glad COVID's over. Yeah, I mean, COVID's it's basically over. there in mid-November. Jo- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's done. Thank God Joe Biden solved yeah, it. Yeah. Joe Biden, he's, he's a president. He believes in science. Well, yeah. Kamala COVID's solved over. it, and Joe took the credit. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like a mayo ass white boy Did would. You see that People Hillary? were getting sick, and now they're getting pussy. Did you see that thing that Hillary <laughs> tweeted? I, tell, I thought we were all going to get sick, but we got pussy <laughs> Everybody's instead. getting pussy. Everybody's getting pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, Woo! We're gonna make it so everybody gets a piece of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Adam? Hillary tweeted. Something? Oh yeah, she. T- I didn't click on it, but Hillary tweeted out an article that yeah, said did. other countries have a social safety net. We've got women. Oh my fucking god! And was, I, I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> That's true. So, I don't even know what that means. It means well, you women get, have stopped me from getting sick many times in my yeah. life. So I never, I've never even used the health insurance I have because mm-hmm. right, right. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, women, I think Hillary's saying if you get pussy, you don't need student loan debt forgiveness. Oh, okay. If you get enough pussy, which I ha- I do by the way, but I don't know if that applies. You to You don't have to pay your loans because I get so much pussy. I just tell mm-hmm. Sally May or whoever the fuck that you're a pussy getting that savage. I'm like. That's why the student loan crisis happened is because like, not enough pussy to go around. Well, you, you Sally May, who respects that? I'm not paying so some bitch paying. back. Bitch can't, Sally, come over know. here. Bitch better have my money. <laughs> right, right. I don't know no <laughs> Sally like black May. Black pussy on my dick. <laughs> You know we saying? don't know that Sally Mae's black. Yeah, uh, none like black pussy. I was thinking Sa- word to the motherfucking DJ quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize the quote. What'd you say, Adam? Um, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Sally Mae, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, fa- fa- Fanny. Fanny Mae? Mm-hmm. You think I'm going to pay some British ass? The word for British ass? Yeah, it's it's actually pussy. Pussy? pussy. Yeah. yeah, Fanny means pussy. Fanny what? means pussy? Yeah, yeah, if you Google, yeah, if you Google cheeky Fanny. Awesome. Which sounds like it's a, a pussy? Which sounds like yep. a gay guy that's like spreading rumors in the office. <laughs> right, right, right. But yeah. it actually means uh, just like a big fat old pussy. Really? Wow, yeah. I, I kind of like a cheeky Fanny. You like a big fat sloppy puss? Why not? It's fun. But when you say fat, do you mean the little, the lips or the part, the pussy part around it? You uh, know where there's just a vul- different... Vulva is the word. Yeah, is the that vulva. What, is that what... Oh, the classic joke, what do you call the useless skin around a, a woman or, uh-huh. a, you know... Oh, oh right. Yeah, yeah right, that's right. a classic a sexist joke. Yeah. 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 What do you tell a woman <laughs> with two black eyes? Uh, What's that? Like, you beat her, you beat the shit out of her, something like that. I forget. What <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, not like, oh, I see. It's I nothing. Know, it's that classic nothing you already told her twice. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, now you beat her. Which up. we don't condone. 
We didn't write that joke, and that's not the kind of joke we stand for yeah. around here. You know uh, here, what Pontiac a, stands for. Yeah, here's another no, joke. We're not, uh, <laughs> I don't know. No one needs to know. And we'll keep yeah. it moving. Go ahead, yeah. Will. Yeah. Will has the floor. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 How's that? Because you fill all three holes and leave them in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's not one. funny, by the way. I'm not nah, laughing at it. Yeah. <laughs> My I favorite, hate that my joke, favorite, actually. And I think I've said it before. My favorite street joke of all time is why are there no Muslims on Star Trek? Mm-hmm. Because it's the future. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's really mean. Well, there's like, there's no religion of any kind on Star Trek. And there isn't. You know, yeah. it's like... It's, well, it's a plug and play. You put anything in there. Except the, uh, the Bajorans right. are the closest to Muslims on Star Trek. Because like, they, they, have a, they have a faith that, you know, inspired them to do terrorism. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. And as we know... I mean, it was justified. Don't get me wrong. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were we resisting a military occupation, but mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. in, in asymmetrical warfare, you know, things happen. Absolutely. Where was Captain Kirk f- uh, shooting down Bajorian children for flying kites? No, it was the, it was the yeah. Cardassians were killing oh, the them. Cardassians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Cardassians were Israel. The Cardassians are <laughs> yeah. Israel. Yeah. Fuck yeah. The that bad guys sense. are. What, what is the Dominion? It's the shapeshifters, the Cardassians, and the, uh, the uh, Vorta, and then the Jim Hadar. Okay. Damn, that's a wow. cool name. Will, you missed it. We did a whole Gene Roddenberry thing on the yeah. show recently. You would have you know loved he gets it. Pussy. You know Gene Roddenberry got Yeah, pussy. Gene Roddenberry got a lot of pussy. We found that out. Well, his wife is a recurring character throughout all of the Star uh-huh. Trek series. And they had an open relationship. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he fucked he the, the He <laughs> couldn't stop fucking. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't and stop fucking. He's like, he's like Yo, you know I gotta get my space pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm f- I invented space. You expect me not <laughs> to clean up on it? I put you in the I'm show. getting green pussy. Yeah, that's the whole point. He, you get to think up a type of bitch, hire an actress to look that way, and then fuck her. Yeah, it's truly uh, more powerful than God. Yeah. Uh, Gene, Gene Roddenberry's uh, uh, widow, because like you know, he he died. I think probably like early into Next Generation, and mm-hmm. coincidentally, that's when the show started getting good. You're going <laughs> uh, to put his, my his widow, ashes. Uh, Majel Barrett went on to be, she played uh, uh, Troy's mother mm. over um, in many episodes of the show and was also the voice of the computer on all of the uh, So the Federation she kept getting Starship. her checks. She, stepped, she stayed in that bag, for respect, sure. Respect, respect. Oh. Um, I was thinking about this the other day because I've been watching. You know, I've been doing a lot of self care recently. And yeah, for me, like you know, Star Your skin Trek looks good. That's my that's my comfort that's my comfort space. Right, you know, of like, course. That's, Cisco is my comfort character. <laughs> yeah, but uh, on the on the second episode, of he's Star insane. Trek, by the way, <laughs> Avery Brooks or yeah, Captain Cisco? Avery Brooks. Oh, yeah, yeah, he seems like. Yeah, have you seen that documentary? That's like the captains. No, you know, no, it's just interviews with all of the captains. I mean, he's my favorite, but I can I can see I can see he has that, yeah, that energy. He's, yeah, he's crazy. No, but in the uh, in the very second episode of Next Generation, which was sort of like a a big risk to relaunch this show with a whole new cast or whatever, uh, Data gets his dick off on the second episode Whoa. of that show. Wait, the second his... and only time Data Wait, he becomes he... trans. <laughs> no, no, he, he gets pussy. He gets pussy. Oh, oh, oh. That, in the second episode, Data gets pussy. Yep. From who? Uh, the one who dies in the uh, the, the blonde haired one who dies. Fuck, what's her name? Tasha Yar. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Damn, she, he huh? fucks Tasha? Yep, he talks, fucks Tasha Yar on the second episode. <laughs> Tasha's, yeah, Tasha's got a thing, dude. You know she fucks. <laughs> yeah. She's probably the most fuckable character on Next Generation. It was the second episode, and it was like a it was a take on the famous uh, original Star Trek episode with the naked time where they're like on some ice planet and something gets unfrozen that's like a some sort of pathogen that, like, uh, when it is introduced into the body, like, sort of makes people lose all of their inhibitions oh, and sort of, like, shit. bring out You're their innermost G- self. And, like, Gene Tashi Rob R just, yeah. just comes on to him super hardcore. And there's the famous line where Data says, like, you know, I am fully functional. My just, dick is fully just, functional. Just, just, just fucking Gene Roddenberry in a Western suit with his bolo tie. <laughs> Just on the casting couch, he's like, "Well, on this one, well, the virus makes you do yeah, whatever the fuck." Yeah, it's a virus. I tell you. It's a virus that makes people lose all their inhibitions. Is the idea? So we, we, we kind of channel that, and we'll I'll play we'll play back and forth, and we'll see if you're right for this. So <laughs> you imagine you're infected with this virus. I am too, <laughs> and 
scene. Let me see your pussy. Let me see your pussy. <laughs> and we're now in the scene. The scene has started, and your pussy is <laughs> not out. Why? Why one, is your pussy One out? Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> at four, you do not get yeah. the roll. Three, Uno, in Texas. There. Dose, Texas. Very Trace nice. Texas. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I don't count with Mississippi. I count with Texas. <laughs> I count in Spanish, and I count with Texas. And why? Because I got a virus in me. I got a virus. They just removed my inhibition. See how well I'm getting into the character? I still don't see me no a CJ, no pussy tata. <laughs> <laughs> what that means? It means pull your pussy out. Mamacita. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm burping up sauce over here. I'm getting indigestion. <laughs> I have fun. I had migas for breakfast. And I'm burping them up because you're giving me anxiety by now. I'm seeing. By, I'm not showing me your pussy. I'm not seeing your pussy. I'm just imagining lawsuits, and that's not where I want. That is not where you want me to be. Okay. I drive a coupe de ville. You know how big the trunk is in that fucking thing. You think you're the first actress to not pull her pussy out? Go ahead. See what happens. See how I became the king of space. <laughs> Dude, that Roddenberry killer instinct. You either give him pussy or you yeah. perish. Mm-hmm. Those are your two choices. That's that's my prime directive. <laughs> pussy or perish? Is getting pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. So shouts out to him yet again. The king, the real ass dude of the week, Gene Roddenberry. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, dude. So are you guys enjoying your uh, your sojourn here in the, uh, in the in the Berkshires? We re- love it. we've enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, we love it here, man. Mm-hmm. We said we made the fire today in the other room. We got a fireplace. Yeah, we should we should sit around the fire and watch a fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, there's a TV in the fireplace room too. Of course, dude. We should finally watch Battlefield Earth. I'm thinking should, now that we, we should have get the fort. Mario Party going. Let's the new Mario. Mario Party doesn't have enough boards. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's the thing I don't like about it. And they should bring back the dueling gun. It's only four boards, right? There's no guns anymore? The dueling glove, sorry. I like the dueling glove. There was a glove you would slap people slap across each other the with, face yeah. with. I'm going to I'm gonna do that. I'm going to go to one of these Antifa protests and slap somebody with a glove. Right. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, I don't know. I feel like we don't have laws anymore. <laughs> and if, if I feel like dueling is going to come like, back. Uh, like, like, you know, try. like these, uh, like all these, like, uh, you know, like uh, like tr- like Trump rallies and like Antifa street brawls. Like everyone mm-hmm. sort of kidded themselves out with this, like, you know, like um, you know, ma- like order by mail armor, yeah, and shit like yeah. that. Like I'm just imagining someone rocking like two uh, Nintendo Power gloves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you should slap the I, fuck I, out of people. I want to go to a protest, but dressed as like a like a like a foppish dandy, like the part was like the Scarlet Pimpernel, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and bring like a like a, a like a fencing sword and just see who kicks my ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you just have a costume that's so incongruous that like it just makes everyone wonder, like you know, yeah. what is well, he, what side is he? What's on? the point? Help them, he well, just right. help them and unite against you. Yeah, really cause be play the peacemaker by getting your ass kicked. Isn't there a guy that basically dresses like that? Isn't there some guy that dresses like it's the eighteen hundreds? I would say that, like, uh, you know, in a good chance, if you're the, the 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 more elaborate your costume is at one of these things, like, the more likely that you're on the uh, the the MAGA side of things, right? In terms you know? of like armor and like that kind of bullshit, yeah. Like, if you're like uh, three hundred uh, yeah. Revolutionary War, I mean, right, they, just like they're going for, yeah, they're going for like special forces, and they landed Moonrise Kingdom. Right? <laughs> 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 it's always just this, like. <laughs> Gay like boy on a journey outfit. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like Boy Scouts. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. I like the really fat guys that are wearing like a, a bulletproof vest that just like don't even cover their, their titties. Tits. Come <laughs> out, yeah. Their side tits are spilling yeah, over. Just, just squirting out the side. That rocks. Yeah. I'm gonna go as the black guy from Twisted Metal who's got arms as wheels. That's oh, that's cool. cool. Axel. Yeah. Fuck yeah. See dude. who gets mad at that. Yeah. I would just go as um from Road Warrior. I would put spikes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would have I would fucking that would be my shit. That's how it'd be MAGA style. Just I would look go like as Bowser. A- Bowser. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I would put on fucking uh, cl- like ha- uh, shoulder pads, and put spikes like, on. Is that John Wick Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> dude, shoulder pads. I'm going to have tight leather pants. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stuff so my cock looks awesome. Yeah. And or get like a dip. I found a website that sells pretty realistic looking cocks. Yeah. That I guess it's for trans people to put 
like they're like real their cocks. Zipper? Yeah. Dude, they look all they look awesome. And I cause I thought it would be funny to pretend to cut your dick off in front of somebody. Yeah. Remember like, those I, fake dicks? I pulled my knife. Those fake dicks I made for the uh the sketch thing? Yeah, those are good. They're, thank you. Those are really good. Yeah. Uh why well, do they sell pretty realistic penises for people who are looking to like cheat on a drug test? So I think yeah. this should be like the, the next the next yeah, step. I mean, up. dude, these were fucking there were so many different Types. There were so many different skin tones. They looked real. Because I pulled one time to fuck with my roommate, I pulled a knife out. And then, you know, usually you pretend you're going to stab him. But I was like, I was feeling inspired. So I pulled my cock out and held the knife to my dick. And I was like, D- fucking, mm-hmm. you know, give me $100. Wow. I don't remember what I said, but I was a like, I'm going to do it. animal house style. <laughs> I'm going to cut my dick off. And how funny it would be to cut your dick off in front of somebody else. So if it's a realistic looking dick to go to go in front of somebody you don't know very well. And chop the head off. That mm-hmm. would be pretty funny. Wasn't there some famous like French performance art- artist that like cut his dick off on stage Whoa. in front of a theater full of people? But I then it was like, like right before he did it, like a car backfired outside. So everyone like looked outside. They're like, "What?" No, <laughs> <Nah, laughs> yeah. I'm not sure about that. That would be awesome. But there was a there. I, I think there was a famous. It was some like you know uh, Van Gogh famously <laughs> cut off he his dick. Yeah, Sent it to his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe now, maybe you'll suck this now, bitch. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a place where you can cut your own dick off. Really? Yes. Where's Where that? Is that? MacWalden.com. <laughs> 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 that's all. I thought they sell. See, that's interesting because, as far as I know, they just sell really high quality uh, basics. Yeah, they they, mm-hmm. they well, it wicks underwear. so much of the moisture away from you. This you're spurting you blood. Barely and just just chopping off your dick. MacWalden yeah. underwear is so nice that you'll cut your own dick and balls off because you want the underwear to be the Close show, to. the showpiece, yeah. not your dick of your body, your the your your your, your central region. Yeah. Mm. I'm sick of my bulge. I mean. I'm sick of my cock. T- everyone being so fucking disoriented. They want to pull off my Mac my, Weldon. My I'm tired of looks. women using me for my dick. I want them to appreciate my underwear. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's I'm, that I find myself. In I that want them to rub their often. pussies up and down my underwear. I'm tired of being used for my cock. <laughs> me too, mate. <laughs> I'm trying to be used for my for underwear. My, for, Mac for, for my cock. silver. If, if you want to be just a sexual object. Mm-hmm. Go to Maxwell, mm-hmm. MacWeldon.com. Go to MaxWeldon.com. How, how, many, how many times have you had, you know, you're with a lady, mm-hmm. it's getting heavy, she's unbuckling your jeans, you're like, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. She takes her pants off, she sees the MacWeldon underwear, she's like, her eyes light up. Mm-hmm. She's like, then, oh my God, then, you can, know, I, you, can you take these off and can I stuff these in my pussy? It gets a bit mm-hmm. further, she pulls out, you know... The money maker, and it's just right. you know the, her face just goes blank. Yeah, yeah. you could see her. Yeah, just all the light off. go out behind. She's like, oh she's man. She's like, put your underwear. It's like <laughs> underwear is so good, she'll ask you to put your dick back. <laughs> 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 yeah, that happens to me all the time. Will and like I was saying, I have to take the underwear off it's and because ball the it up. Underwear mm-hmm. so nice. Ball it up and put that in her pussy, I, I, <laughs> and that's what she has sex with. Well, I'm just sitting there with my soft dick and I'm jacking it off with just my thumb and my first finger. Mm-hmm. And it's saying, not hard. Is this hot? Because I'm hot? saying, do you like this? Am is I a fucking slut? You? I'm a fucking little bitch. I'm a slut. I'm a slut. I'm only fans. Fuck for my you. Na- fuck I'm my Mac Weldon. Fans. Fuck my Mac Weldon. And so Mac Weldon has cucked me on many occasions. Oh shit! They just added this year of underwear thing. It's it's like you can just get. Like a whole supply I love for that. an entire year. Yeah, which because they only they used to only have like a three pack, and then that this like I couldn't. They were out of stock for a while. Yeah, I spent like months trying to get because your dick feels so good in these in these fucking underwear. Yeah, no, I literally threw out all my other underwear, and I only got Mac Walden shit now. Yeah, but I'm gonna pick this up. How much is a year of underwear? It's uh, two hundred and seventy two dollars. That's a fucking steal. It is for a whole steal. year. Well, yeah, it's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Fellas, are you tired of it's buying new underwear every time you take a shit? <laughs> every this, single time. Look at this box it comes in. Imagine I would put that in my living room. That's a beautiful box. Wow. And then when bitches come over, I'm like, guess who doesn't wear diapers? <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year. Uh, like a an advent calendar for a new fresh piece of underwear. It does look right. like an advent calendar. Mm-hmm. That's real nice. This it's Christian underwear. Mm. Yep. Uh, they sell a lot of shit, not just underwear. Not just underwear. They also there's some kind of promo code or something. <laughs> there's a promo code that you could use. Uh, you could buy shirts, crewnecks. The shit's antimicrobial. It wicks. Anti guy 
Uh, Clo- Clobial. Mm-hmm. Uh, Comtown 20, good. Which good we'll, we'll mention later, but I just want to make sure that I have it. <laughs> okay. We'll and that'll get you 20% off. We'll mention off, it later. Right? We don't have to talk about it now, yeah. man. Comtown 20 is the... Okay. That's the promo code. That's folks. the promo code. That's the motherfucking promo that code. That's a promo code. No, it's it's <coughs> real easy. It comes in a nice because I like all my shit nice. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. my shit nice. Yeah. I'm tired of buying uh, for years just living off a, a pair of underwear from Dollar General I bought after shitting myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, while drunk, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Well, let's see how long this pair lasts." Yep. And the answer was eleven years. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed in the rotation. Yeah. Get all the bullshit underwear out of the rotation. Yeah. Throw out the bullshit underwear. I'm telling you, you gotta you gotta start from the foundation up. You exactly treat yourself right. right. You get a nice, comfortable pair of underwear. You put that on. You get nice socks. Mm-hmm. You know. You get you a put, t-shirt. Get a you, crew neck. You wear a nice t-shirt. You put all that on, and then. You stay on the couch all day doing heroin. That's right. You know? Yeah. But you look so good. But you feel good. And your cock gets bigger. It, it does. It makes it grow. And now that I'm a now that I'm a podcast millionaire, I never wear the same pair of underwear. Like twice. Dame Dash. I, I, I only yeah, like Dame Dash with yeah, socks. Yeah, I do yeah. it for underwear. Right. And I don't I don't use toilet paper either. I wipe my ass with, with each the underwear. new pair of underwear, yeah. but I'm not I'm not an asshole. I'm not just being wasteful. I donate all the soiled underwear all to the, a clothing yeah. drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people say, you know, homeless shelters, they mm. you know, people donate the winter coats, but they don't have the socks. They don't have and the underwear. Women. You drop it all off, and the woman behind the counter is like, "What the fuck?" And it's like, "That's not very army of you, soldier." <laughs> right. That's you right. better fall in line. Right. Yep. And then you general bark. salvation won't yes. like that very much. And you remind them of their duty. Who is your commanding officer, people? lady? Yeah. Exactly right. Santa Claus. I it's guess, that probably. Santa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Santa. It's probably Santa Claus. Santa's the yeah. brigadier general of that whole yeah. fucking shit. Do they um, still do. What happened to that the Santa? Uh, so you never see this coronavirus. Salvation. No, I mean for years it was gone. This is another thing. No, I've been Santa's saying this been year, out. San, Salvation You're Army out. Santa gone in the last couple of years, and also snake guys in New York gone. Snake guys? Like a snake Remember guy. Remember guys that would wear snakes? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In, in, uh, like they disappeared in like 2015, 2016. That's a shame. You're right. I haven't seen a guy with like a python on the subway and that in used a long to be time. A, that used to be a thing. There mm-hmm. was just always like fucking snake guys. Did you, were you the one, who, or maybe with Christina, somebody saw... Come oh. town 20 MacWeldon.com. Get yeah, 20% yeah. off 20% your order. Percent off. If you don't like the underwear, you can call them and complain, and they will refund you. That's mm-hmm. what I was going to say. And you get to keep the underwear. And they also have a whole long line of basics, like T-shirts, sweatpants. I pants. already said that. They are, okay. We already said that. They got right. a duffel bag. They also got a loyalty program now. Mac Weldon Blue, you sign up. You get that year of underwear. You get some kind of points. You can spend it on the fucking socks or the shirts. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. Antimicrobial silver line. They call it my, Mac Weldon Blue because it's the opposite of what your balls will be. Yeah, it's because you're going to be getting only. pussy, and it's, you Police. can only be a cop. Police only. This is veteran own, owned underwear. It's a veteran owned, yeah. veteran owned company. Yeah, they came up with one the of the leg holes when they're at is, is sealed Bora. up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they come pre pre sealed up, pre sealed up with extra small dick area, and yeah. one of the legs is sealed up for veterans. <laughs> it's a camo. Right. You yeah. sell camo dickless underwear for veterans. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no space in the dick no area. No space for the cock area after your dick when balls. Were were liberated from your body in Berlin <laughs> by a team of the world's greatest surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> after, after you have your dick was replaced with pieces of a Humvee transmission. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't even bother trying to buy this if you haven't put a machine gun in a Afghani child's face because mm-hmm. you won't get it. You fucking regular pieces of shit. So if you're one of those guys with no dick, no leg, yeah, and you served the U.S. Honorably, go to MacWeldon.com. Use promo code Comtown20. A big thing now, though, is the uh, like the, the the former operators who come home from war and don't immediately, uh, you know, sign up for some private mercenary force. Is like they have all these coffee company, like Black Rifle yes, Coffee. Of There's like, yeah, yeah. like Operator Coffee. Yeah, and they're like. Yeah, because yeah, like you, the, you want, know, don't don't drink Starbucks like you some want fucking exactly. pussy. If you're, if you're not yeah. gay in the culture wars, the coffee house. Is like they think that that's the bastion of liberal, yeah. like or leftist, like uh, revolutionary life. Yeah, there's all these things that rednecks like that they like have to just pretend like there isn't an inconsistency because 
it has nothing to do with ideology. It's just nice coffee is good. Yeah, yeah. And then what I loved for a while is that the like cultural nexus of America was small town Starbucks. That, yeah, like had replaced whatever mom and pop shop. Walmart destroyed or just replaced the local economy. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then they have a Starbucks where guys would go to like. Which is a fast food restaurant. Yeah, which became yeah. this like, which <laughs> yeah. became this like public forum. You know, yeah. I mean, you could go in there and you like point your gun at the barista, <laughs> and like, write Trump. Yeah, on my exactly. Cup. Write yeah. Jesus. Write Jesus is real on into the Pledge of Allegiance, <laughs> and you're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance with me, and I'm going to put it. I got a GoPro hooked up to my head. And this is all being broadcast on Twitch immediately. That's right. And they're like, sir, we can't do that. And they're like, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really? I'm being discriminated against. Well, it's, it's so funny that conservatives spent like a decade trying to cancel Starbucks and it didn't work. And then like, <laughs> now they're getting canceled and like, what? This isn't fair. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Nice try, Redneck. Try to get Starbucks in trouble for not like, I mean, what an awful position. Not that you should feel bad for a company, but Starbucks just. Like they had nowhere to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was just no matter what they're making a wrong. The putting people's names on cups was the worst thing that ever. <laughs> yeah, happened. it's giving people too much, too much freedom. Yeah, and yeah, no, I think uh, I think Starbucks will continue to be a cultural battleground, and I think like yeah. for a good thirty percent of the country, if they want to get you know a latte or a you know a nice a nice mochaccino or something, they will be demanding that they will be saying that their name is you know Trump was legitimately elected. Right, right, right. Biden stop is the steal. an imposter. Yeah. yeah, stop the steal. My name is Stop the Steal. That's my name. Put it on the card. My name is Starbucks. Is stop is gay. What the fuck? What, what the fuck did what you just that, slap dude? him? That's my name at Fuck Starbucks. Slap his body. Fuck you, dude. Slap ah, his press. Just fuck you. Relax, dude. Touch his I'm breasts. not. You're not going to say that. I've never done it. You're not going to fucking disrespect me. I've never actually me. done bacon. it at a You're not going to disrespect me where they sell Bacon Greer it, egg bites. It was a throwaway call. Those are good. Those are awesome. Very good. The sous vide Thank egg bites Yes, Starbucks. They are very good. Yes. Come Down is brought to you by the sous vide I wish it were. I wish it was. I love sous vide I'm going to reach out. Reach out to Starbucks. I like their pastries, too. People sleep on them. Yeah. The eggs are fine, but the sous vide the egg bites are The espresso are brownies, the You can't cake really pops. fuck up biscotti. It's just... Let's well, those it. are just packaged from exactly. another company. That's yeah. fine. But what do you think the fucking pastries are? Think no, they make them fresh. The yeah, they have artisan. They have artisan. <laughs> the scones, <laughs> their scones are bullshit. Making the scones taste like something. The scones I'd make can it, suck my dick and I'd balls. make it home when I was I, drunk. I've never gotten a scone. And I was like, let me make shitty bread and put blueberries in it. And I would, having said that, I would eat a scone right now. I'll make you scones. I'll That'd make you good awesome. scones. Do you really know how to make scones? Yeah, they're easy. Is it just, what is it? It's just flour and water and blueberry, and then you get trash and put it in the oven. <laughs> okay, that doesn't yeah. sound you like enough ingredients. You make dude. blueberry scones. Is there eggs you or just milk? Just with no, your hand. butter. Just flour and water and blueberry. <laughs> It's matzo. That's, that's how you that make would be it. so shitty. <laughs> that would taste like absolute dog yeah, shit. Yeah, that's just that's Starbucks that's at home. I'd love to see yeah. Nick on the Bake Off on the Great British Bake Off. Yeah, but I don't really know how to bake shit. I've been making those like Chinese buns. Those look good, and it's relatively bow. easy. Yeah, bow. Yeah, bow. Making that making that gelatin, I still have not figured out. Mm hmm. But mm -hmm. that's the next. Once all this is You'll over, you'll get there, buddy. I'm committing the next three months of my life to making Shaolong Bao. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, Shaolong Bao. Yeah, I just realized Bao is the fucking means dumpling. I guess little Bao Bao. And yeah. Long, it means some other shit. Shaolong is the basket. Sh really? Yeah, Shaolong means like little basket. Whoa. Yeah. So your your dick is a Shao dick. Hmm. No. Dick is Shao Long dick is your dick. It's a long dick, you're right. Shao Long. Nope. Although we all Sorry. agreed after the stuff is well, day, we'd looks be nice. Well, <laughs> look who walked right into no, that No, I one. didn't. I said little <laughs> basket dick. You said your dick is a long dick. Well, no, I said, I didn't say long. Did yeah, I say long? you did. Shao Long ba dick. Shao Long dick. Shao. That's an exclamation. Shao. Yeah, long dick. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not Chow, how babe. it. babe. Yeah. I said I didn't say chow. Chinese. That's chow a funny man. language. I didn't say chow long dick. They're just going around ching this ching that. <laughs> what if your name is Ching? <laughs> so Ch how do you tell the difference between that and the rest of the language? Mm. That's, that's true, Jerry. Can you imagine <laughs> meeting a guy named Stop Sign? That's why you're the best <laughs> in the biz, Jerry. <laughs> imagine meeting a guy named How's It Going? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's that what it's like over there. <laughs> 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 Woo! And then it's an episode where Elaine dates a Chinese guy. 
Yeah. I loved how Seinfeld, every single person that wasn't Jewish was just like the biggest caricature of all time. <laughs> yeah. It was like Jewish people, then ever like a Latino was like, hey man, I'm just trying to cut hair. Yeah. yeah. And it's like <laughs> yeah. the barber. Yeah. The black guy was just um an even more Johnny Cochran type mm-hmm. guy. It's Kramer's lawyer. Super restaurant mm-hmm. guys. Who told you to suck my penis? Who told you to give I me I didn't hair? tell you to suck my penis. That guy was a funny character. He was a great character. Yeah. yeah. Um, like they try to do like Latino characters, but they fuck it all up. It's like on the Upper West Side of New York, and like every they try to do a Latino character, and he's like a cholo from like East LA. <laughs> yeah. He's got like fucking a flannel and like dickies <laughs> on and a shaved head. Yeah, it's like, and hey, J- Jerry, man, what's up? What's going on? Jerry yeah. living two and a half minutes walking from those neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love Danny Trejo's episode of Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. You just love saying salsa. <laughs> it makes you wonder how. Ch- what are Chinese people? How would they say? It? <laughs> how would they say salsa? Well, they'd probably say some kind, of, some variation of Ching or Chong. <laughs> Jerry, it's a very complex language, uh, yeah. actually. Jerry, suck a dick. Fuck you, you Boom. fucking bitch. But that would be great if every episode started with him bombing and being. <laughs> that would be way yeah. funnier if you edited out the laughs. Uh, yeah, the, the laughs come out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see Elaine's pussy. I've gotten pussy. Where's Elaine's pussy? Sure. Sure, I've gotten pussy. I love getting pussy. Has anyone um, Your girlfriend's 12 years old, you fucking rapist. <laughs> 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 yeah, but look at her tits. Has anyone... Um, She's got over huge the, uh, tits. Over the uh, entire run of Seinfeld, has anyone like tabulated or like just chalked up how many guys Elaine has fucked over the oh, course of the show? Yeah. She's, mm. I, well, you know, it's probably not that many. Say she is trash. <laughs> She, you, Jerry probably fucks a lot more. Elaine, I Dude, saw the George spreadsheet. fucks all the time on that show, and he doesn't even have a job for most of the show. <laughs> yeah, no, like because I mean the joke is that like you know oh like he, he's the loser or whatever, but uh, uh, he he's dated probably Believe something me. like eighty women on the show. Believe me, I know. He's I've been dated some tests. dimes. Jerry, uh, I've gotten too much pussy, Jerry. My dick is gonna fall off, Jerry. <laughs> I'm George. Elaine. Like, we got to talk about this uh, list. <laughs> yeah, someone on Reddit sent it to me. <laughs> uh, Jerry's got his own subreddit. He's a comedian, and basically everyone in his life is uh, stalked and harassed by the <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld fans. <laughs> I put together a list of uh, how many people you've had sex with. <laughs> There's way too many. <laughs> too many. Yeah, it's too many, so I'm going to, uh, we're going to break up. I remember she had some guy fly in from Oakland to give her pussy, to give her cock. Remember that guy? And she had to get him, she lost. A sponge. She didn't get him, no, no, she didn't get him uh, to the airport on time, but he was annoying. She needs a sponge to clean up all the cum. She Mm. was, that is what that is about, right? Yeah. You put a sponge in your pussy and it gets the cum up? Yeah. I can't believe that was a form of birth control. Yeah, we used to put a lot of things in women's cunts. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the uh, the original diaphragm uh, pioneered by uh, uh, French uh, brothels in like I don't know probably the 18th mm-hmm. or 19th century was a uh, a citrus rind. It wow. was basically a lemon. You put a lemon in, in your pussy. It was just put up there, and actually the citric acid does work as a kind of a, a spermicide. Really? Yeah. I wonder how that feels in your pussy. Probably not that good. Yeah, probably not great. <laughs> I remember learning in health class that girls used to shake up Diet Coke and spray it into the... Right. Yeah, yeah. They you put, put Well, yeah, you put a mentos in a Diet Coke <laughs> if yeah. someone comes in. Is that in how that started? It, they put and it up there hoo-ha. And you get well, it, that's an abortion. It was a viral market. <laughs> that's how you do an abortion. Yeah. That's how you do an abortion. <laughs> it was a cross, you put a mentos and Diet Coke kind of in your pussy and it blows it the fuck out. Well, there was a commercial where a police officer fucks Kylie Jenner and he nuts inside of her. And then she's like, now I'm going to have a baby. And he hands her a Pepsi. <laughs> he vends her Diet Pepsi. And then a guy, another guy from the, and then the guy from the Mentos commercial yeah. comes out, too. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> Mentos freshness kill a baby. Mentos freshness. Now you don't have to pay child support. <laughs> Mentos, the baby killer. <laughs> uh, yep. Take that, you fucking fetus piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking theoretical bitch ass fetus. No, yeah. man. 
Because my I can't wait mom. for Amy Comey to just come in to and take away abortion. And <laughs> She's then, banning Mentos. And the <laughs> Mentos is gonna fly. Mentos stock is gonna fly through the roof once they fucking overturn Roe versus Wade. Yeah, and then I uh, and then uh, then I'll have to have a kid. Then mm. then they can't get rid of it. Mm. You love gang abortions. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you love that Planned Planned Parenthood waiting room. Yeah, all thanks to Amy Comey. Amy Comey. Amy Com Comey. I Amy like Co- I like beer. I feel like those have all probably already been run through on Twitter. Every iteration of the Amy Coney Coney Barrett puns. Amy. Oh, of her name. Yeah. Yeah, Amy what about Co- Amy Comey, Coney Com- 2020. Amy Co- Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amy. Uh, Let's Amy. see if we can take it to another level. All right. Okay. What the fuck is that sound? That's oh, the, it's the uh, dishwasher. It's, yeah. Oh. oh, I got one. Ang Lee Coney Barrett. <laughs> That's good. That's actually really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's the, the Hulk. Di- um, it's the director Ang Lee. It's the Hulk <laughs> not getting an abortion or something. Any given Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just just that. Yeah, it's just, just that. <laughs> Amy given Sunday. You know, <laughs> he, he's gi- he's giving the motivational speech yeah, yeah. in an abortion clinic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna be clawing. Yeah, we're gonna dig around inch by inch to stop that next <laughs> inch <clip>. by inch, <laughs> cell by cell. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'm on is. Is the trimesters. <laughs> I forget. I can't we live this life one trimester at a time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could remember that speech. That's that. Any given Sunday is a great movie. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like it's a later Oliver Stone, but like uh-huh. I, I, it's like it's like a two-hour line of cocaine. It basically. rules. Yeah. Like, and everyone in it is it's awesome. Just I, fucking, I, I saw Lawrence Taylor. Fucking Lawrence oh, Taylor. God, he Cameron in Diaz, movie. isn't it? Cameron Diaz and like that. Uh, right when I, I fucked uh, her. Actually. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Jamie yeah, Fox. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Thanks, man. I fucked her with the mask, actually. <laughs> I saw Jamie yeah, Foxx on, like, Conan when that came out. Mm. And he explained that uh, Al Pacino kept spitting in his mouth <laughs> while talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think about that, like, constantly. He was like, yeah, he'll yell, and just, like, he'd be spitting into my mouth while, like, doing the scenes. And I have to, like, focus because there's spit. Oh, yeah, he said, like, like, yeah, like one of the, like, the, like, like, the white things in the corner of your oh, mouth, like, yeah. black, and just, like, sort of, like, oh. he's just, like, he's like, why are you Dude, the fucking blaze that I call uh, like it just it, it just jumped from his lip to just the corner of Jamie Foxx's lips so he was just trying to do the rest of the scene like not touching his lips together to get, oh my to get that owl juice on him steam and <laughs> Willie Beeman dude uh, okay and James Woods in Any Given Sunday that's oh, true yeah. the team doctor remember the scene that's where he gets true. fired Wait, the scene where he's a doctor where he prescribes blue chew <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, there where go. Jamie Foxx's dick doesn't get Jamie, hard Jamie Foxx's penis does not work he also talked about his cock in that Conan interview did you uh, did you see that episode of Conan I, I think I remember the one you're talking about but I don't, I don't think I quite remember the, the what about his, about his dick well, he, well he's talking about fucking both Al Pacino spitting in his mouth and he also mentions that his dick was bigger than everyone else's <laughs> 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 that rocks. That's such an awesome thing to casually yeah, right. drop in there. Yeah, but it's also too they have to like feed the questions to the host. So Conan has to be like, "Now your dick is huge." <laughs> the pre- oh, the pre-interview. Yeah, yeah let's, why don't you tell us a bit about that? How big your dick How is? How big your dick? <laughs> yeah. So you have a uh, very big dick. No, no um, I was just thinking the uh, the scene with James Woods where he gets he gets fired from the team by Al Pacino and mm-hmm. then he's got his like his girlfriend there or whatever and he's like all right all right fuck it I'm out of here all right let's go and he's like come on babe and then she just goes no I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang back and I'm gonna stay here too and he's like really okay all right Dad, how, how do you like getting uh, uh, gang raped by a, a bunch of d- n- Neanderthals <laughs> and it was just like it's like with James Woods like in that role as in any role with James Woods I really have to question like. Did he know the camera was on, or like he knew the camera was on enough to stop him? But you could just yeah, you, you could, could tell, tell he where felt that like was going. Yeah, he was like, "Well, come on, <laughs> it's where the what he would say." I'm the character. <laughs> yeah. I'm an actor. Um, I just I just really watched uh, uh, Oliver Stone's uh, Nixon. And uh, James Woods plays uh, H.R. Alderman in that movie. Oh. And there's a scene where he's complaining about the... Uh, he's the, complaining, about, he's complaining about the New York Times. Not being hard also because <laughs> okay. he's, yeah. oh, he's on bluechew.com. No, go go ahead. <laughs> no, no, we'll, yeah. I'll figure out a way to do it. He's talking right. about the, uh, yeah. the New York Times and he refers right. to the Sulzberger family as gold merchants from Eastern Europe. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and again, I wonder if that was in the script or that was more just James I Woods. I think that's what you get when you get James Woods. 
Yeah, um, that's that's that. I remember that, and it, what, another thing I remember is that if you like sex, is if you like sex, you'll you love like blue blue com, com, you'll you'll love And also, Mary James Woods famously has a very large cock. Really, and I think he keeps it that way through. Yeah. Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Through Blue yeah. Chew. Yeah. It's also, too, that's why Jamie Foxx had to bring that up in that interview. Because his dick. Yeah, because James Cause Woods was dick. going around. He's like, well, you bet you didn't expect that from a racist. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this must really th- annoy black guys. Bet you didn't think I had a big <laughs> racist <laughs> hall. <laughs> I'm racist and I have your thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I no matter thing. no matter what, <laughs> <laughs> I, this stole, this I stole yeah. this from you. Yeah, I'm better at rap, and my dick is. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, no matter what size your cock is, whether it's small like Adam's or huge like mine, mm-hmm. you want to use BlueChew.com to get your dick hard. Because yeah. odds are, or whatever your race is, or whatever your race is, it works. Make that clear. on almost every there race. There was some confusion on the last read uh, when we said <laughs> Chinese people were not allowed to use Bluetooth. <laughs> <laughs> and I, we would like to issue a correction. Yeah, we'd like to issue a correction. We're on pretty our, sure on our part. Chinese people can use it. Yeah, Chinese that was our bad. Are allowed. We're pr- almost ninety-five percent sure. I'm, so, I'm going to say that they're allowed. So here's the thing: what you want is to get your dick hard no matter the situation. Mm-hmm. And well, you know I want that. And instead of, you know, maybe exercising a little bit more, watching what you eat, mm-hmm. or trying to form a, a romantic bond with somebody where your dick works. Solve your what, problems Solve your problem with the fucking pills, baby. Yeah. Just like everything else. Yeah. Keep doing drugs. Go to BlueChew.com. You don't have to talk to a doctor. I love the way they taste. I take them when I, there's no even not even a chance I'm going to beat off that day. That's right. It's just uh, it's a, they. Have you t- tried? I've actually, I've, I was going to ask you guys. I've never tried. Wow. Yeah, Will. Will. And I'm saying like you know. Me and Stav have stockpiled. <laughs> <laughs> if you want some, I think I have some in my book bag. We signed for up. Someone who. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, does, doesn't usually have a problem um, yeah. achieving or maintaining oh, an erection. Mr. Wow. Mr. If, if, oh, if, uh, look at this guy take, coming on my fucking podcast. Wow, that's about, a real, this real Jamie Fox <laughs> move over here, Will. <laughs> <laughs> talking about how yours the only guy whose yeah. dick gets hard on the podcast. Blocked, yeah. troll. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to edit that. We're gonna have to Jesus edit that. Christ. Out, uh, yeah. This is finally the falling out. of The Brooklyn podcast community. It started with the Comtown Chapel. This is in. bullshit. <laughs> you thought it would be the the Comtown Red Scare split that did it in, but it wasn't. It was Will. It's fun. Will getting his dick hard. Here's the thing: you just think your dick works. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Because oh, the passage well, of time. I was time gonna say, is, like, yeah, I, maybe it's not working as as well as it could. It certainly is. And I'm not. Just, I was just saying, like, you know, if I take listen, a blue chew, will it be like in Fast and you know Furious when you know, they hit the nitrous injection? It will 100 be like. It's like you know. Do you remember getting glasses for the first time? Well, I never need to wear glasses. Well, that's wow. another one. Wow. Well, one day, one day <laughs> you'll need physical glasses. specimen, dude. Wow, this is physical. Donna, physical you put glasses specimen. when you need Perfect. glasses, and you get glasses for the first time when you're like 20 or whatever, and you're like, "Holy shit, that's what clouds look like." Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's all this stuff that you didn't think was just mush. Right, mm-hmm. uh, like your dick. And exactly. Then you take blue chew, and it's like glasses. Like, what the hell? Your dick. This will, is what, exactly. Will blue chew um, help me not bust within thirty seconds? No, of no, that's but right. you will be able to fuck right at, like not right not after, right but after. come on. But a, sooner than however you normally takes you to fuck after busting. You will be able to fuck so, sooner. I psychologically sooner, you like I, about seventy-two hours. Or about so. 70, yeah, <laughs> it'll have your time. So you're looking at about seventy-two hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But look, here's what I'll say, Will. Look, does my dick technically get hard? Sure. If I get it sucked a lot, mm. if we stop, we get some breathers, I'm getting top, I'm getting in the pussy for a <laughs> second. <laughs> specific, specific. If I'm in, can I take it out? If you've no, got an it's got to stay until on. I bust or it's going to be go soft. So maybe the same generic but ingredients as, as VIA. Exactly. Mm-hmm. With those generic ingredients, now I'm really fucking. It's a yeah. subscription model. You sign up, they send the pills to you. There's no in-person doctor visit, no waiting, nothing like that. No bullshit. No Just bullshit. a hard dick. They gotta. You, they do a Skype meeting. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just give yeah. you the pills. I did a Sometimes Skype they meeting. say, "Yeah, well, if your dick is real small, they yeah. check." But me and Nick never did a Skype They're meeting. Like, yeah, we can tell the the weakness of your wrist based on how you <laughs> typed in the website. Yeah. And we're worried this might be a three year old girl <laughs> <laughs> trying to get medicine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so we have to do a Skype meeting to make sure you're not an infant, yeah. an infant a, girl, a child, yeah, a baby. They made me show my my equipment, your cock, yeah, yeah. and the uh, the back. The they made the you rectum. show hole too, yeah, because they wanted to know if your prostate was <laughs> healthy. Just, the lay the nurse practitioner, she said, turn around. Then I had to bend down and then I had to cough. She was like, "Stick something up your ass." And then a bunch of change came out of my right, ass. Right, I was sm- I'm always yes. smuggling. I don't know where <laughs> yeah. the Holocaust might start. That's true. You got to keep your fillings in there. Yeah, he calls uh, he calls his asshole the annex, the, mm-hmm. hidden, the mm-hmm. secret annex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, you, <laughs> if you, his little bookshelf tattooed yeah. on his asshole <laughs> that he opens. Nothing to see here, Nazis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When right. they lets the Nazis go in there and find Dan Frank. Right. But underneath. He keeps, he's got a tiny diary he puts in his ass. <laughs> yep. And I he, snitch on Dan Frank. At BlueChew.com. He hires <laughs> men. <laughs> <laughs> go to BlueChew.com. Go to BlueChew.com. Get your penis so hard. It'll make you need. I'm gonna give you a dick pill, Will, and I want you to let me know how it goes All for right. you. And I know it's just four fellas in this house right now, but you got it's you gotta take we're it. We're having a sleepover, you we gotta, gotta take, take it. <laughs> yeah, I brought some of my best pornos. <laughs> we got, we're watching we're gonna, porn, yeah, we're getting chewed we're watching up. porn, and we're seeing how hard we can get our dicks. And we're using promo code CUMTOWN <laughs> to right. get our first order free. <laughs> We pay just five dollars for shipping. Yep. <laughs> yes, we are. B l u e c h u dot com. That's what happened. You cut. You, the fellas come to the woods, and we see who's got the hardest dick. Yeah, not we, the biggest. We do. We call it the James Woods Challenge. <laughs> James Woods Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. You ever see? Uh, what is? How does he sound? He's got like a weird. He's got like a like a weird. Uh, I like him nasal. a lot as an actor. Oh, he's great. He's he's good in everything. Casino. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's God so good. Damn. The pimp. I love him. Yeah. I just watched a movie recently where he plays the dad and he's his character is that he's incredibly anti Semitic. Virgin suicide. No, it wasn't that. Oh my Jewish daughter keeps killing herself. Who's the girl that plays <laughs> my Jewish daughter? My kike daughters keep killing themselves. <laughs> is that the plot of that movie? It is. Yeah. yeah. It suck is. along to my dick and if you, you want me to be gay. To you find out that they're killing themselves because a woman directed the movie. <laughs> 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 they're like, this is too <laughs> shitty. They're this like, is too shitty to be a part be of. <laughs> 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 we thought, I love the Godfather. <laughs> it's a I different, just saw Coppola. It's a bitch Coppola. <laughs> it's the lady Coppola. No. 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 Get out of here. I love it. It's a 13-year-old girl being like, come on. <laughs> the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> I thought it was a guy's movie. <laughs> I'll say something. I just rewatched Godfather 1 and 2. Godfather 1, not that good of a movie. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Okay. I want to get into oh a dicey, dicey movie opinions. I just recently watched uh, Apocalypse Now. Up. Yeah. No, it's good. I had to knock. I had to dock it. It's Honestly, good. Honestly, rewatch it. The last third of the movie with Brando is pretty shitty. I, uh, I mean, I could be, you know, attacking. It's not as good as the first. It's like like the first two, two thirds, thirds are incredible, incredible. but like yeah, you can yeah. totally tell that they didn't know what they were doing. Like, because I agree. But I mean, so it, here's the thing: like, isn't it Brando because Brando's be, fat and insane? Well, yeah, because like, yeah, he was fat and insane, and like, and he like, wrote his own. He lines. wrote his own shit. Like, did he? He like Coppola threw out Milius's like the last part of his script. They didn't know what to fuck to do with the movie. Like, Brando wouldn't like show up for like days at a time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But just the concept of him, he's playing like the an elite special forces colonel yeah, yeah. who's gone completely off reservation and has yeah. essentially been living with a guerrilla army in the jungle of Cambodia yeah, right. for like two years just right. doing like assassinations living in the bush they show up and he's like morbidly obese yeah 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 <laughs> it's just like I, I, I was like I'm sorry this is stupid. I'm with you but it, I guess I surrendered to the movie and it's just like it's almost like mystical really when yeah you're in there. It's, it's like true it's like he's got some kind of otherworldly hold on these people and that but like okay, so then and then Martin Sheen kills him and then just walks out of the temple and they're all looking at him. They're like, oh, I guess he's he's Kurtz now. Yeah, they'll would, kill him. Like yeah, what? I know. Listen, the end didn't make any sense, but it was fucking cool. Yeah. That movie's just like it's. I love a movie where it's like 
It starts and it never stops. Godfather One is everyone please, is please, acting. Please, please shut the fuck too up. Too much. Please shut the fuck up. And then Brando's up, trying to like act. <laughs> shut the ball. fuck <laughs> <Don't> up. <laughs> I want to become one of those Godfather guys. Godfather One, they're acting too much. Yeah, dude, just rewatch. What a them, fucking man. retarded I, I, I idea to have. It's I over are, the top. Sort of on a similar level because like oh. we're, we're both guys who refer to Godfather One and Godfather Two as just one, one and two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of guy I am. I am. Like, oh, you know. Pacino and two though. That's yeah, really literally, cool. I am one of those guys. Really cool. And you know Adam is a fucking. I don't idiot. think I've ever seen Godfather Part Three. Me neither. I've seen it once. It is, and, and in fact, is I've only tedious. seen Godfather Part Two like a like maybe once. But in my mind, I've seen all of them, and then I watch Godfather One again, and I'm like, oh, I've just turned this incredibly long movie into three movies in my mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it can, so long. It's three hours long. Yeah. Yeah. But also, Adam, please shut the fuck up. All right, man. With that fucking take. I like the part where he puts the orange peel in his mouth and makes it, it looks like a monster. It could just be that dead. you liked the movie a lot as a kid. And yeah, yeah. It, didn't hold it doesn't up. work on you. It it's, does hold up. I'm sure if I watched You're Donnie Brasco idiot. again, I probably wouldn't think it's that Yeah. Good. It's a but fugazi. Love, actually, a fugazi. Like, Donnie Brasco gets better the more times you watch. Really? Seriously. I've seen Donnie Brasco a million times. But that happened with Goodfellas. I watched Goodfellas again as a You're wrong about that, too, by the way. No, I'm I just, just saying it didn't do it for me in the way that Casino still works for me. The agree- to the me, Goodfellas is way is, more watchable. Is Gladiator, which uh, when I was 15, retard. I hated that movie. The retard I alert. When I was 15, it was my favorite. Oh, movie. for fucking and two right now. It's, it sucks. Gladiator does suck. Gladiator does suck. No, it doesn't suck. It's just no, dumb. it's good as fuck. You're all dumb. You know, as what shit. I, you know what I rewatch like once a year that I still like a lot? Troy. Troy. I've actually yeah, I've never yeah. seen Troy. Troy's good, dude. I saw it. It's I saw fine, it once, but Gladiator yeah. rocks that compared too to Troy. Long, right? What Troy? Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's. Like I a, think it's just kind of muddled. Well, they had to cover the the Aeneid. Of yeah, <laughs> the, yeah. The I do remember when Brad Pitt does his first kill in the movie. It was he very kills Nathan sick. Jones. The very tall, like very tall guy. Very tall. The video of it's from like Strongman '95 of Magnus Samuelson breaking his arm. I think he breaks Nathan Jones. Whoa, that video is awesome. Doing like arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. Yeah. Holy fuck, that rules. Yeah. Cool. Because Magnus Samuelson, he's like Scandinavian or some shit. So he's like. uh, (laughs) Yeah, I feel uh, really bad. I, <laughs> I think I broke his arm. Uh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, I would watch Troy again. I was, I just remember being hyped for Troy because I love Greek shit, and Brad Pitt was looking hot as fucking mm-hmm. Achilles. And it, I don't know. I just remember it ending not satisfying. But I haven't seen it since I was a kid. But yeah. Goodfellas, I just I love it. Well, like Troy is just, very Troy is very much like a like a uh, uh, like a movie about kind of like tropes of masculinity and different mm-hmm. ways to pursue being like a, it's like a good man project sort of type of movie. Mm-hmm. It's I, not, uh, I mean, the best thing you do when your homie dies is you wear his armor in battle so that people will think uh, that you are him. Yeah. Right. Resurrected. That's well, there's all that shit, you know, dies. there's the fucking, there's, there's Orlando yeah, I'm going to wear your condoms after you die and there's fuck a- with them. <laughs> Yeah. Orlando Bloom, <laughs> who thinks he's in love with this bitch and is like destroying his father's kingdom and putting mm-hmm. all of his countrymen to death so that he could get some so pussy. Get pussy. So he's kind of like like uh, the, the figuring Who's he? out Hector uh, uh, Paris, right? He's Paris. Paris. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, uh, what? I mean, who gives a shit? It's not. Fun. <laughs> we can get into the, the whole, Aeneid rule, the whole rules, Iliad though. right here. The Iliad rules. Uh, yeah, no, it's the Iliad, not the, the Iliad. Iliad. The, the Iliad, Iliad is, is, Rome, is the sequel right? where it's, mm, uh, no. you know, the, the refugees from Troy go oh, really? to found the Rome, Rome. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Mm-hmm. It was Romulus and Remus. That's the different version of the Roman myth. In the Remus Iliad. is what I is what I call my dick. I'm about to Remus it into some pussy. Mm. You're about to Remus your Remus into <laughs> some pussy? What are you talking about? Remus is my dick's name. Because uh-huh. I ream pussy. Oh, so wait, that's a different story than the Yeah, the it's a, a different like myth about the founding of Rome, and then the Aeneid is, but uh, the Virgil is the one who, who founds Rome. Mm. Here's Magnus Samuelson okay. breaking Nathan Jones' arm. Look at how much bigger, look, look, how much, the- look how much bigger Nathan Jones is. And Samuelson just shatters his fucking... Can I see? Yeah. I used to watch that World's Strongest Man. Oh, it was on ESPN2 on all ESPN the time. On ESPN2 when I was homesick from school. Oh shit, dude! Are you serious? Wow, that guy is huge. Ah! 
<laughs> Fuck! They crunched his shit up. Yeah. Oh, you can you can Google the World's Strongest Man Classics 1995 Samuelson breaks. I've probably broken his arm. <laughs> tendon or something. It's hard to say, but something is wrong with, uh, with his arm. But um, I, I feel terrible that uh, I have injured him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me. That's what I say after I fuck. Yeah. I'm very sorry that I've broken your pussy. I'm sorry that I have done damage to your, your pussy. Your freaking hole has been bruised. <laughs> bruised. <laughs> that I've brought your brack out. <laughs> like a cuckoo clock. The door is too tiny. <laughs> and I shove my dick in there and kill the whole dancing family. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I wish I was the world's strongest man. Mm-hmm. I want to get fucking. Wanna, I want to be a big, strong guy. Mm. They should do the world's strongest woman competition on TV. Yeah, but it's all about their fortitude. Which don't say they already do. They do. They do do it. But the joke is that uh, nobody watches. It. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> Who was it? Was it Tim Dillon that used to do the joke about the, like the WNBA just being funny? Like the idea that it's like, remember. what if we let bitches play basketball? <laughs> Somebody oh, yeah. had some. That no. sounds similar to Shane's Special Olympics premise. No, right? I'm trying to remember who the fuck used to do that, that job. I don't and, remember. Yeah. I don't remember on account of my dick is too hard. Is it? No. From bluechew.com? No, it's not. Well, folks. But I am about to take some Pepto-Bismol and play, play through the pain because we're about to get pizza. We're about to get pizza. I'm you... going to be like any given son. I'm about yeah. to get shot up by James Woods. <laughs> Just, where I get yeah. numbing agents so I can play. <laughs> That's me tonight. I'm about to drink. I'm going to have so many edibles. I'm about to smoke a lot of joints. And I'm about to have Pepto-Bismol so I can eat like a whole mm-hmm. pizza and if some you, wings. If you're stuck with your family this holiday, it's Christmas coming up. You don't want to deal with them. Go to patreon.com. Um, P A T R E O. That's right. dot com slash come town, and you can get access to. And we'll be your family. Our premium archive for money though. With oh, now, your mom. I think two hundred. There's probably two hundred. About just about two hundred episodes. Wow. There. Now extra to listen to. I know that because of COVID, there's new people that are listening to this that don't realize yet that. This is a, done a, double. Fa- a fascist show where we've repeated the jokes <laughs> over and over again for three years. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, hopefully, before you realize that, you'll spend some money. You check it out, and you can pick up and shirts, too, at come.town. That's right. That sounds good. And a calendar, a 2021 uh, Stabby Baby calendar. You want to get that before 2021. You want to get you want to order it before 2021. This is your last chance. It's about to be I, Christmas. <laughs> Will, I had the 2019 Stavi baby calendar, but I, you know, not 2020 because this year has just been too fucked up. Dude, yeah, you know? too it's fucked up. 2020, bro. man. I mean, fucking it's, it's a, a fucked fucked up year. Fucking hell, year. hell year. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's All right. Correct. Thanks, folks. Thank.